Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to do your angel reading, the messages from the angels, what the angels have for you. Okay, we have pile one, two, and three. And these are little angel crystals. We have aventurine, rose quartz, and amethyst. So you can pick whichever one you're most drawn to and the timestamp will be in the description box below. I do ask that you pick with whatever one you're most drawn to. That's usually how it works. Okay, and if you do like these videos, please like, comment, subscribe if you have not already done so. And don't forget to share with family and friends because there may be messages for them as well. Okay, this is a general read, so please take what resonates with you and leave what does not. If you would like a more personal in-depth reading, you may contact me. My email is in the description box to schedule a personal reading. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. All right, for those of you who chose Pile 1, the Venturing Angel. We're starting with the first card, which is messages from heaven. These are messages from the angels, ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, or even passed on loved ones. Okay. So your message is the number one. So that is new beginnings. The number one represents new beginnings here. And it says explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. So some of you guys are going to have some new beginnings going on. That may be the message here for you. I'm going to read from the book to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, explore new ventures. Move forward with confidence. We are with you. You need never feel alone. Trying new things is exciting, but always easier when you have a friend along for the ride. Imagine that your loved ones are with you in just the same way they would have been in life. They are standing by your side, encouraging you. Go on. They say, you can do it. Okay, so this is just letting you know that you are not alone for this journey. Um, whatever it is new that you may be embarking on, it may be scary. You know, um, sometimes we like to stay in our comfort zones. We're kind of scared to try new things sometimes because of the unknown. We're not sure how things are going to play out, but they're letting you know that you can do this. Move forward with confidence. They're with you. OK. Then these are the angel tarot cards. OK, your first message is the page of Earth. the knights of water and the chariot archangel metatron all right so the page of earth this is the page of pentacles okay good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study then you have the knight of water so this is the knight of cups all right, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Okay, and then you have the chariot, the number seven, Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So all in all, you have some news coming in and you have an offer that's going to be made. And this is going to help you move forward and move forward quickly to reach your achievement. And that may be what this new venture is with the new offer and the news coming in. Now you're able to move forward and you may be hesitant or a little reluctant at first, but everything is going to work out. OK, these are all positive cards here. Now we're going to clarify them with the guardian angel tarot. Okay. You have the four of thought. All right. So this is the four of swords. All right. Spend time in nature, listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice, because over analyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. All right, so there's this news coming in 
and you may not be sure on what to do. So that's why you're kind of in this stuck energy. You're over analyzing things and it's telling you in order for you to make sure that you're making the right decision, just take a step back, relax, woo Okay, give yourself some time to really take in all the information that's being given to you and then you can make the best possible choice. Okay, then you have the Knight of Water clarified here by um, open your heart. Okay, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. So the Knight of Water, like I said, is the Knight of Cups. So that's someone coming in with a love offer or a heartfelt offer. Okay, it did say um, engagement, wedding proposal, falling in love. You know, it can be all those different types of things. It's going to be different for everybody. But you have it clarified here by the open your, your heart card. So it's telling you that to be open to this offer that's coming into you. Okay. And this love may also provide you a sense of stability. Okay. The news may be coming in before the offer is made. Or you may get word that, the, you know, maybe somebody likes you or somebody, you know, is going to ask you out or it's going to be different for everybody. But all in all, open your heart. So this is a very heartfelt offer. There's no negative cards here. All these cards are positive. So there is no wrong choice moving forward. Then to clarify the chariot, which is this movement forward, this achievement, you have the ace of action. So you have another one because your first card was a one. The explore new ventures. This is the ace of action. So this is the ace of wands in the traditional tarot deck. And it says the cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. So again, it's telling you to take action, telling you to have confidence. Okay, so, so far from this reading, it can play out in two ways. For some of you guys, this can be a love situation. Okay, moving forward in a relationship, a new relationship coming in, something being offered to you in the love sector. Then we have... This can be applied to your financial career, your job, business, okay, those new ventures, you having to actually take a leap of faith to move forward, take that action, okay, you have this news coming in, the page of pentacles coming in, um, letting you know certain things for you to be doing in order to get where you want to go. And that's what you're contemplating here with the four of thought. You know, you're weighing your decisions, which moves to make. Then the Knight of Water, the Knight of Cups here can be someone coming in to offer to offer you something that's heartfelt or that matches your heart's true desires as far as work, allowing you to follow your truth, to really love what it is that you do, to feel passionate in what it is that you do. And that can be the open your heart or maybe while you're working on this business, on, on this new job, this new career venture, however it applies to you, that's when this love interest can come in. This is when the, you will meet this person. Okay. But the ace of action is telling you it's time to, to take action. It's time to move forward because it's here with the chariot card as well. Okay. This is daily guidance from the angels. And you have steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Okay. So again, here we is talking about love, but it's also talking about steady progress. So see how this can play in both areas. Okay. It can play in the relationship. And it can play for business, okay? But it's telling you to continue to live in love daily through all activities. Love is the highest vibration. And when you live in that, you attract more of that, okay? 
So you can, it can be that you're loving what you're doing, you're enjoying it, or it can be that romantic love. Okay, then this is um, Archangel Oracle, and you have Beloved One, Archangel Shamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay, so that can be the person that's coming in. That can be this Knight of Cups here and telling you to open your heart. Maybe this is a soulmate connection. Okay, and soulmates don't only have to be of a romantic nature. Okay, we all have a soul family here. So it can be a romantic relationship or this can be a partner, business partner that was here put in your path to really help you live in that love, to enjoy what you're doing, to feel fulfilled again. You can have a, this emotional connection with this person without it being of a romantic nature, okay? So it's going to be different from, for everybody, so that's why I'm giving you all the different types of scenarios. Then this is the message from your angels, Oracle, and you have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So again, you have the horse trotting ahead and this is a black horse and you have the black and white horse here. So again, this is clarifying this, this movement forward. Okay, the chariot is movement forward and you have the action card to clarify it as well as this new beginnings card. Okay, so yes, keep charging ahead. Don't take no for an answer. Okay, it's okay to sit back and contemplate and, you know, view the pros and the cons, weigh out your options, but don't stay in that not making a decision energy for long because you know you need to move forward and everything's going to work out for you. So this is a very nice reading. All these cards are positive. So no matter which area of your life this is playing out in, you will be moving forward. There's some news and an offer coming in. Okay. It's just going to be in different areas for you guys. Some of you, it may be for work and career, business. And for some of you, it can be love of a romantic nature, or it can be a little bit of both. You know, putting you in connection with the right person that's here to help elevate you. All right. So group number one, until next time, many blessings. Group number two, for those of you who chose the Rose Quartz Angel. Okay, we're going to start with your first card, Messages from Heaven. This is Messages from heaven angels guardian angels spirit guides ancestors passed on loved ones okay and your message is the number 10 talk to us we are still listening okay so they're letting you know that it's okay for you to talk to them pray to them they are listening to you they are concerned about what is going on with you and it's with the number 10 so number 10 clarifies a completion a completion of a cycle or a completion of something. So something may be coming to a close here. All right, now from the book it reads, number 10, talk to us, we are still listening. You can chat to those in the spirit realms and they will hear you. As you speak to them, you may even sense their reply. Your connection will grow stronger and they love to know what you think of them often. They say, share your life, thoughts and feelings with us. We love to stay connected. Okay, so even when you feel they're not there, you can still just talk to them. And they're there listening. Okay, you are not alone. Now from the angel tarot cards. Okay, you have the nine of air, which is the nine of swords. Then you have the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups, and the King of Water, the King of Cups. Okay, so right off the back with the King of Cups, you may be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but it does not have to be. Okay, if you are, this is just confirmation for you. All right, so 
there may be something that has happened recently happened or happening okay that has you feeling expecting the worst okay sleepless nights you're anxious you're living in your head you're you know not able to sleep you're staying up things like that things that are really bothering you that is ongoing constant in your constantly in your mind but it is letting you know with the ten of water the ten of cups this is a fulfillment so you see there's the number 10 again so that is the completion here 10 and 10 okay the ten of water is the ten of cups it's the rainbow the happy family standing in front of the the rainbow and all that stuff in the traditional tarot okay it says a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and marital needs are met trustworthy relationships so even though you're expecting the worst things may have seemed seemed a little down and gloomy for a little bit is letting you know that the ten of cups are right around the corner for you everything is going to work out and this king of water here says open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice charity work this could be maybe you were hurt in the past someone may have betrayed you okay lied to you deceived you whatever and it may have left a mark that usually is the case that usually is the case when um how you say it when things happen to us you know they leave a mark and then we bring that moving on to, you know, new relationships or future relationships. So that can be what's going on here. You're expecting the worst from this person. But these cards are letting you know that this person is trustworthy because you have trustworthy twice. Okay. And is letting you know you are going to be fulfilled. It is within reach. You just need to get out your head. Okay. Now from the Guardian Angel Tarot, we're going to clarify these cards. So first you have the Ten of Thought. All right. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end. So these are three tens you have so far. Ten, ten, ten. Okay. Which is one, one, one when you um, break them down. So after this, go ahead and Google that. Ten, ten, ten or one, one, one. There may be a message there for you as well that you may connect with. All right. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. That may have, have been what was troubling you here. Okay, now then you have the five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can back, get back on the path to joy. So whatever hurt was done from you, done to you in the past you need to give yourself this time to heal and then you can get back on the path of joy which is waiting here for you with the ten of cups the ten of water okay and then you have nine the spiritual teacher there are great rewards in spending time alone use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. Okay, and then even with this one too, what just came to me, it says, ask your angels and those you love to help you move through this process quickly. And that can be what they're trying to tell you. You know, talk to us, pray to us. You know, like in this initial card here we are still listening so they are here for you and they're letting you know that they hear you when you talk to them or when you pray or when you ask for help or when you feel like you've given so much and you're just ready to give up okay they hear you and they are wanting to help you you just need to continue to communicate and be open to receiving any messages or confirmations that they may be sending you back okay this is the daily guidance from your angels and your message is have confidence. 
moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence is God. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. So again, this is the the message here, letting letting you know that your angels, your guides, your ancestors, your passed on loved ones, that they are here for you, supporting you. They want you to talk to them. They want you to ask for help if you need it. And they also want you to know that they are here for you to lean upon. OK, they're here for you in all areas of life to support you through so you can heal and so you can let go of the past to welcome in these blessings that are awaiting you. This is the Archangel Oracle and you have moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. All right, so every month, even though this is a timeless reading, okay, whenever you decide to watch this video, make sure you pay attention to the moon cycles, okay? Every month, there's a new moon and then there's a full moon, all right? New moons are meant to bring in, that's the time to start something new, to bring new things, to ask for things. Full moons are usually when things come to a completion, come to fruition, Okay, start showing you things that was asked for, things that was put in place at the new moon. Okay, so look at the new moon as the beginning and the full moon. Not at, For some areas it can be an ending, but some of it can be like um, a phase or some type of completion. Not necessarily an ending, but a completion of something. Okay, so the whole goal or the whole dream may have not come to pass just yet, but you may have got a little bit of positive feedback to let you know that you are on the right track or things are still, you know, in progress, but working out in your favor, things like that. So really pay attention to the moon cycles because it's letting you know that this is when it's most powerful for you to, you know, ask for the things that you want and really work that law of attraction to manifest these things, to capitalize on it. Then from the messages from your angels oracle, we have Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. So again, we have that. Again, is another, another message here letting you know that the angels are here to help you. They are here to help you. This is a time there's blessings awaiting you, but until you heal and forgive and release the anger and the resentment from the past hurt, these blessings may not come in or they may be put on pause or you may not even be open to receiving them because you're so closed off or, you know, thinking the worst. Okay, so you have the same theme coming in. You need to heal. You need to let go of the past. All right. And ask if you need help, if it's difficult, ask the angels, pray, speak, however it is that, you, you know, that you whatever feels right to you. Okay, help to, for ask for help to open your heart and your mind. Okay, to clear out that past hurt, to help you regain your confidence back so that you can get back on the path to joy. Because this wish, this fulfillment, the Ten of Cups is here waiting for you. And this King of Water is waiting for you. It doesn't have to just be a man, okay? But the King of Water is basically signifying the top. The Queen and the King are the, the very top cards. You don't get higher than the king and the queen. Okay, so this is someone who, who is waiting for you, who is emotionally mature, ready for that love commitment. Okay, ready to help you feel fulfilled. But you need to really forgive. You need to get out your head. You need to let go of the past hurt. Allow yourself time to heal. Regain your confidence back so that all this stuff can come out, can come to fruition for you. Okay, so group number two, I wish you the best. 
And what's funny, what I just realized as I was closing out this message is you picked the rose quartz. Rose quartz crystal is the crystal to use for love and love areas. So if you are able to um, have some rose quartz, you know, carry it in your pocket, hold it in your hand, um, meditate with it, sleep with it. If you can, um, if you have rose quartz jewelry, you know, like a necklace with a, the little gemstone on it or whatever, rose quartz is good for healing the heart as well. And it's also good for the heart chakra. So if your heart is blocked off, you're feeling this unforgiveness and stuff. Also check out my chakra video to help release that release those blockages from your heart chakra and ask the angels and stuff to help you out all right so group number two i wish you all the best and the healing love and light being sent your way and until next time many blessings group number three for those of you who chose the amethyst angel okay this is your message we're going to start with the messages from heaven this is messages from your Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, passed on loved ones. You have the number eight. We have fun and you too must enjoy yourself. So they're letting you know that it's okay to enjoy yourself. Live a little. Okay. I'm going to read from the book here for the full message. Number eight. We have fun and you too must enjoy yourself. The end of physical life is not the end of life. Our loved ones have changed form, but continue to exist. And their new life is full of laughter and joy. They are saying to you, we have pleasure watching you laugh and have fun too. Don't stop living your life to the fullest. All right. So that sounds like it's more for those of you who uh, passed on loved one letting you know that it's okay for you to have fun you don't need to be sad and mourn now the angel tarot cards here okay you have the two of water which is the two of cups you have the lovers the number six and you have strength the number 11 all right, so first you have the two of cups, the two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. Then you have the lovers here, Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions or good health. Then you have the strength, Archangel Ariel, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. So forgiveness has popped up twice here, but the message of love you connecting with somebody has as well. So the strength is the card of Leo. All right. So you may be dealing with a Leo and the lovers is the card for Gemini. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Gemini or Leo. All right. It doesn't have to be, but that can just be a confirmation for those of you that are. Okay, we're going to clarify these with the Guardian Angel Tarot. All right, first you have Four of Emotion. This is the Four of Cups. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts. Heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. Okay, so it's telling you to stop living in discontentment, boredom, stop worrying about with what you don't have or what you don't like because you're blocking out things that are coming in. Okay, then you have the healer of abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, 
who's down to earth with a gift for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. So that the lovers can be this Gemini person or the person that's representing the lovers here can be the person coming in to help you, coming in to help you heal. Then you have the six of abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the ge generosity by giving to others in the future. You can consider volunteering for a charitable organization. Okay, so this is telling you you need to have strength within yourself. All right, you may need to deal with some forgiveness. Okay, or this is letting you know that there needs to be some healing in a relationship. All right. For those of you that are coupled here, this is healing of a relationship. For those of you who are not with anyone, this is you healing from your past wounds, healing from past events and situations. And these are these can be new people coming in. Okay, it can be a romantic gesture, it can be a romantic partner, or it can be a friend, or it can be both because you have two strong archetypes here, the Gemini and the Leo, the lovers and the strength. Okay, it's telling you to make sure you open up your heart, be open to opportunities, have fun, you must enjoy yourself, stop being so... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Stop, stop, basically, stop being a little Debbie Downer, okay? Let, let the past be in the past and start living your life again, all right? These people are coming in to help you, whether it's to reignite that passion for love or whether it's to help you find value within yourself again. Because even though we have the abundance card, cards here it doesn't necessarily have to pertain to finances because this is more of a love reading here this can help you heal from the past and regain self-love regain your self-worth regain your self-value okay now your daily guidance from the angels and you have new partner well there we go this is the clarity someone is coming in Okay, the person may have both Gemini and Leo in the chart. Okay, because remember the, mo the three most predominant signs in a chart, for those of you who are new to astrology and zodiac signs and things like that, the ascendant is the most. And in order to, to know your ascendant sign, you have to obviously have your date of birth, your place of birth, and your time of birth. And then it paints this picture of where all the planets are, when you were born, and what houses and things like that. And that kind of paints a picture of how things are going to go for you, your personality and things like that. So the ascending sign is the most important. Then you have the sun sign and you have the moon sign. And sometimes even the Venus sign is very important because the Venus can represent how you display and receive love. So you have Gemini and Leo here weighing in very heavily. And then we have it clarified that this is a new partner. Okay. A chance meeting is no mistake. It's divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Okay, so new partner. So yes, these people are coming in. And like I said, they are coming in to help you. Okay, it said new partner, but it still didn't specify whether romantic or if this is a friendship. Okay, or even someone that you can even work with like a business partner. But the, these people are being put in your life to help you. Like I said, to catalyst as a catalyst. Okay, to help move you forward, to help you heal. They're put in your life for a reason. So be open to receiving. And when new people come into your life, it's no mistake. 
Then you have the Archangel Oracle and you have Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. And the message from your Angels Oracle, Shanti or Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. And again, here we have that lion. That's that's Leo again. So yeah, there may be someone with Leo in the chart or someone who has a lot of attributes of the Leo archetype, the Leo zodiac sign of uh, being very regal, very royal, um, courageous, strong, confident, um, someone who attracts a lot of attention without trying. All right, so this person is coming into your life to really help you. They are, they are also known as protectors, all right? And maybe with you, with this person coming into your life, they can teach you how to be courageous all right leo the lion that's what they signify courage fearlessness you know the king of the jungle as they say so this person can teach you how to hone in those attributes how to regain your courage how to heal from the past learn to love yourself again to feel royal to Feel confident again so that you can really embrace a relationship or a partner and let go of the past. So I hope this was a message you guys needed to hear group number three. If it was, don't forget to like and comment. It really helps my channel when you do so. Share my channel with family and friends because there may be messages here for them as well. And until next time, blessings to you all.